a lot about your nickname. Well, yeah. I guess you know what that feels like, too, huh? Bumps? No. <laughs> what, is Marty writing something for you? Yep. A very own stand-up comedy routine. It's my birthday present to him. See, the clown business is a little slow right now. Pops felt it was a shame to waste this natural gift I have for making people laugh. And I guess you're going from fall down to stand-up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, a uh, comedy routine. That's an original idea for a birthday present. Birthdays have always been a very special time for us. When Buffs was younger, I would take a group of his friends to the ice rink and have skating parties. Yeah, oh, skating was great. Going to the snack bar, eating hot dogs and popcorn and french fries, cream-filled donuts. <laughs> well, you're all invited to see Bumps break in his new act tomorrow night. Polish sausage, candied apples, corn dogs. Oh, Skip, I've got some time if you'd like to let me hear those voices you weren't happy with. Bumps, I don't believe you met Wally Wooster. I bet you can guess what he does on the show. Well, hi there, Bumps. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> well, he's short. He has a funny voice. Uh, is he the producer? <laughs> a wonderful rich character but the voices just aren't up to snuff i sure like to help out but my doctor says my throat still can't take the strain no more women's voices or mice <laughs> well done bumper listen to this <laughs> oh while i was in the circus a clown buddy of mine fell in love with the siamese twins and they look so romantic walking around arm in arm in arm <laughs> Huh? And then one day, he popped the question, can I have your hands in marriage? <laughs> they broke his heart. One said yes, the other said no. So he was the only guy who ever eloped with his wife and his sister. Uh -huh. So there they were, walking around, arm in arm. In arm. In arm. I mentioned that they were Siamese twins. So anyway... He asked for their hands in marriage, <laughs> but they turned him down. At least one of them did. Siamese twins, you get it? <laughs> well, thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Good night and que pasa. <laughs> to our show, the Judy Collins, Santa Domingo, the lovely and talented Florinda Morales, Florinda. Oh, wow, you get the pink cow. Margarita, senorita, double vodka, darling, a bloody mess, the bloody fresh. And this here beer, it's for you, Slim. 
Oh, here's my comedy star. Uh, how about a bottle of champagne to celebrate? Oh, champagne? Yeah. Champagne? I don't know. I don't think I did my best. I kind of feel like my timing was off. <laughs> Marty was a comedian. Maybe he could help with your timing. Gee, Brooks, I don't know. You can't teach timing. Either you're born with it. Hey, of course. Or you can buy it. <laughs> you excuse me for a minute? I know this sounds like a Hollywood line, but I'm a producer. No kidding. You know, you're the fifth one I've met tonight. The first one parked my car. No, 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 really. I think I have a park for you. See, that's what the first one said. Trust me. No, no, I don't mean trust me. I mean, well, I'm not the kind of guy. Slow, angry, skip. Listen, I think I've finally found the woman to play Marlena, and I want to audition her. What? Because I'm... The producer. I don't care if it costs $200 for a studio. As the producer, I think she's worth it. Oh, is that so? Well, in that case, you can find yourself another boy. Well, you don't have to go that far. That's right, I quit. Sure, there are a lot of people that can do what I do, but... Try for the money you pay. <laughs> I thought you'd be reasonable. Good night. Can you audition tomorrow at 10.30? am I auditioning for? The Dippy Duck cartoon show. It's a terrific part. We call her Merlena. She's sort of a seductive chameleon who changes her shape and voice to get whatever she wants. I just have a feeling you could do it. Something I really have to tell you. Have a Dippy Dippy Day! <laughs> the best Dippy Duck I've ever heard. Outside of Wally Wooster. Well, it should be. I'm Wally's daughter, Wendy Wooster. I'm Wally's daughter? That's incredible. Wally's gonna be thrilled. I refuse to work with that conniving little backstabber. Hold on a minute. How can you talk about your own daughter like that? Easy. Yolanda and I were on our way to a very amicable divorce. So Wendy told her about that stunt woman. <laughs> well, we need Wendy. She does terrific voices. People, animals. I know. She's very pretty, Wally. She has your eyes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> You said yourself you weren't satisfied with the Merlina voices. I know, but Wendy can do the job. You're a professional. All I'm asking is that you set aside your personal feelings and let her audition. I hope someday you get pregnant. <laughs> Hi. That's my microphone. I always use that microphone. That one. Okay, we're going to start on page 16. Lots of energy now. Hello, young duck. May I hold your basket? No, ma'am. I have to return these jewels to their rightful owner. Jewels? Oh, boy. Can I play with them? Merlina, you're up to your old tricks. I wouldn't trick you. Why don't you come in and see me? Thank you very much, my trusted friend. <laughs> Cut. That was very good. Wendy, that was terrific. You're good. Thanks. When you were a kid, you had a lot of talent. I got it all from my daddy. You got a lot of money from your daddy, too. <laughs> as far as we're concerned, you got the job. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. C could I see you a minute? Be right back. I realize this is all you're doing. Oh, no, Wendy, no, no, we no, all... No, 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 you stuck your neck out for me. And I just wanted to say... Thanks. <laughs> Hi, Miss Winkler. <laughs> Hi, Bumps. Listen, you were so funny last night. I thought I was going to have a conniption when you drank from that dribble glass <laughs> and got champagne all over your front. <laughs> Dribble glass? What's that? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, Bumperino. Oh, I'm Mr. Feynman. 
Uh, I'm ready for my comedy lesson. I got my dad's check. Oh, I'm afraid it's going to have to be past city today, kid. We just hired this new actress. I got to write two new bits for her by tomorrow. But we'll do it real soon, I promise. <laughs> okay, that'll be great. <laughs> Come on, I just did what had to be done. No, 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 no. This is no time for modesty, Skip. It's an inspiration to see a young person with your kind of talent dig in and take responsibility. Brooks, I just followed my instincts. Well, you're very rare for a kid your age. Take it from me. Well, your father just came in if you'd like to see him. Oh, no. Tell him I had to go. I don't see why two people can't just sit down and have a meal together without everybody thinking something's going on. When <laughs> <laughs> stop? you kept me from getting any sleep last night. I know how you can make it up to me. And how's that? <laughs> I'm changing the Marlena recording dates from Thursdays to Fridays. What? commercial for a new hamburger chain and it's only for a couple weeks oh i don't know when to no, i'd have to change everybody's schedules not just yours i don't think it would be fair whatever you say boss i'm sorry bumps but uh i can't come tonight skip and i have uh, all this work did, did i tell you about this terrific new character oh i did Listen, Marty couldn't use his Laker tickets tonight. The seats are right down on the court. Right between Johnny Carson's lawyer and Jack Nicholson. You wanna go? But, uh... Oh, I'd love to. But I'm afraid I'm busy tonight. Maybe some other time? Well, don't count on it. I could be Mrs. Nicholson by then. <laughs> we'll have plenty of time together tomorrow at your birthday party. You'll be fine tonight. Knock him dead, son. Brooks? We're almost finished here, and I have a date myself, so if you want to go and see Bumps... To tell you the truth, I, I'd rather work. You have no idea how painful it was seeing my own son up on that stage going through hell. I never should have bought him that routine. You were only trying to help him. Maybe. But I may have made things worse. didn't come home last night. Oh, dear. I called the ad-lib club and they said he started coughing in the middle of his act, left the stage to get a drink of water and never came back. I've been up all night. Don't well, you think maybe you should call the police? You realize how foolish it sounds to call the police and tell them my 34-year-old son didn't come home all night? Doesn't sound foolish to me. It did to the police. <laughs> this is all my fault. Oh, Brooks, no. Bibi and I have always overprotected Bumps. I remember walking him to school on his first day of kindergarten, and we passed this steamroller. He was scared to death of it. So we walked a long way around, and we did it the next day. We did it for years. To this day, Bumps won't go near a steamroller. Oh, we all have our steamrollers we run away from. We let him run away from everything, Skip. If only he were more like... don't know me very well, but when I say out of the question, I mean buzz off. This means that I just wanted to give you your paycheck. Aylesworth, Agnes. Uh, Mr. Walter. 
Wally Wooster Wendy. I don't know if you picked up on it yet, but I put them in alphabetical order. I remember walking him to school on his first day of kindergarten. We passed this steamroller. He was scared to death of it. So we walked a long way around, and we did it the next day. We did it for years. To this day, bumps won't go near a steamroller. Oh, we all have our steamrollers we run away from. We let him run away from everything, Skip. If only he were more like... know me very well, but when I say out of the question, I mean buzz off. Excuse me, but I just wanted to give you your paycheck. Aylesworth, Agnes. Uh, <laughs> Wally, Wooster, Wendy. I don't know if you picked up on it yet, but I put them in alphabetical order. <laughs> Will you look at this? My first dippy duck check. I feel like I joined the family business. Signed Sherry Winkler. Oh, are you the bookkeeper, too? Oh, no, I'm not qualified to do anything like that. I just own the company. <laughs> oh, really? You know, this just feels like a special occasion. I'd love to take you out for a nice lunch, not ponchos. I'll treat. Oh, that'd be so sweet of you. about your little girlfriend, Wendy. She asked me if I could move our recording date so she could do some stupid commercial. I don't believe it. Really? I do. And then when I told her it was out of the question, what do you think she does? She invites Our Lady the switchboard to lunch. <laughs> and what do you suppose they're talking about? Hmm? Talking? But <laughs> she asked me if I'd switch the recording dates. Ah, uh, it's the old show business story. You've become a stepping stone on a road to success. I'm telling you this little vixen is nothing but trouble. And when you have a troublemaker on your hands, I say, 86, sir. <laughs> oh, I get the feeling we're talking about Wendy. Isn't everybody. Don't worry, Wall. I'm sure we can work it out. I don't care if you drop her like a bad habit. I warned you about her. <laughs> Winkler and I went shopping after lunch. Boy, the things she tried on. I don't think she likes anything unless it glows in the dark. <laughs> I got this for dance class. How would you like to see it on me? Or maybe off me? It's very pretty. Uh-oh. Is my big strong man angry with me? You went behind my back to Aggie and then to Mrs. Winkler. Oh. Well, no big deal. Aggie said no, and Mrs. Winkler said it was up to you. So what's the difference? The difference is I thought you cared about me. I cared a lot. Look, I'm sorry I went behind your back. But let's not let this ruin everything. Wendy, what is it you want to keep, me or your job? You, of course. Uh-huh. Bumps. No, he wasn't at the bus station. I'm sure he'll turn up. Well, how do I look? Warm. Oh, I've never wear this outside. This is for wearing to the ice rink. When Bruce was talking about skating the other day. Skating? See, he's still talking about it. Baby calls, tell her I've gone to the rink. Boy, there goes a man who likes to skate. <laughs> Hello. Why isn't there any sweet and low around this damn place? We're always running out of it. Speaking of sweets and low, Wendy was looking for you. <laughs> so did she find you? Decided not to see her anymore. Oh, that's too bad. Thanks. So I guess that means Wally's doing Merlina. No, Wendy is. She's better for it. 
When I hired her, I told Wally he'd have to set aside his personal feelings. I guess I have to do the same thing. You know what? That was a real mature attitude. I'm really proud of you. So I guess old Wendell will still be around, huh? Yeah, from time to time. Good, good. Good. <laughs> and I realized I'd forgotten how to skate. It's been a long time. Oh. You know, your mother and I are kind of worried when you didn't come home. You shouldn't worry. I'm old enough to take care of myself. A little too tight. Oh, sorry. I don't want to come home until you and Mom can be proud of me. Bumps, we are proud of you. Can you be? I haven't worked in months. I walked around all last night just trying to think of some jobs I could do. Son, you don't have to have a job to come home. It's tired of being this big, fat disappointment you have to look at every day. You were right not coming to the show last night. I stunk. So, maybe you're just not cut out to be a comedian. If you stop and think of it, a lot of people aren't comedians. Winston Churchill... Well, the shoemaker. It's true. I don't care if you're a comedian or a clown or a beekeeper. That's it. All anybody can ask of you is that you try. I don't know. It's your birthday. Just for all time's sake, why don't you take a spin around the ice? No, Pops looks like everybody out there is better than me. Oh, no, they are. In fact, some of them are pretty awful. Like some of them are rotten. Yeah. They're having a good time. Okay. Come on, Pops. No. I think you should do it alone. Yeah. 